Raheem. For three free throws. To the middle. Here's Jordan. As a distributor, Paul is just a machine. He's constantly creating for his guys. And slam dunk by Jordan. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. Turning defense. And he can't get the first one. Patrick Ewing. At the line, two shots. And no luck that time either. 29 seconds left in the first quarter here. Outside Paul. Here's the pick. No good on the three. New York trailing. And now the Knicks on the break. Here starts. He drops it. Most of his damage. Just get him the rock inside the paint. Here's Ewing. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Redick, no good. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Here he goes. That's to Oakley. Inside. Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Most of DeAndre's field goals are dunks. Exceptional at getting great position down inside. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jordan. A minute nine left in the third. To the inside. Pass to Christie. Three-pointer. Connects. From Room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Outside Paul. That's a big bucket for Blake. Teammates have to love that shot. Here's Smith. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. That's exactly what the... Here's Kidd. Rejected by Allen. But Jared Allen, a rim protector at its finest. What a hit block. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily moved into the points. Both free throws good. Mitchell. Oh, he missed that one. One for three in this one so far. The Mavericks leading. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Again, the Mavericks good for two more. Well, you won't see that kind of shot fall very often. Thank your lucky stars. The three from Mitchell. Drains. The good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for Dallas? Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been thus far. And their assist total, also impressive early. Creating distance from Nowitzki, tracks down the offensive board thanks to his outstanding positioning. And finished off by Garland. And put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. Here's Nowitzki. Over Garland. Here's Chandler. And denied. Shot. Oh, another lead change. Six total in the first half. And this is the battle we were hoping to see. Here's Garland. Now here's Allen. Pass to Okoro. Outside Mitchell. Allen a screen. Three-pointer. Cleveland gets it back. With the clock winding down. Opens up major options at the offensive end. Outside to Levert. 
Offensive board. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Marion. And he bangs it home with one hand. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Levert outside. Hits the trifecta. Method substitution. Jason Terry. Takes a three. Stevenson's shot is good. Stevenson's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. And here comes Cleveland. They trail by 16. Pass to Okoro. And here's Mitchell. From deep. On. A three. That shot missing. And it's Cleveland the other way. Left side, Mitchell. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on J.J. Barea. That's his first foul of the game. Checking in for the Mavericks. Outside, Mitchell. Knocks it down. Here's Nowitzki. Covered by Mobley. Outside, Stevenson. Another three for Dallas. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. Their offensive game plan has been simple. Look to shoot it often from outside the arc. And the results have been outstanding. Well, I also notice, guys, how much they move the ball in this one. Selfless, willing to pass the ball to a teammate with a better look. Here's Stoyakovic. Shot clock at six. Off target from three-point range. And so it's Cleveland with it. 19-point game. Ooh. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. And it's Jared Allen with the foul. Second That's his first foul. foul of the game. Checking in for the Mavericks. Tyson Chandler. There's 37 seconds left to play in the fourth. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. From behind the arc. And that one's good. Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. We've got the Washington Wizards taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. It'll be the Wizards off the tip. Morris outside. There's Beal with the three. The shot. Here's McCarter. Got him with the bump fake, but couldn't finish. And so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for Washington. They trail by three. This guy's in attack mode. Bradley Beal taking it strong. Here's McCarter. Back to Goodrich. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Seems to wait for a true contender may take a lot longer. Kevin? Uh, well, time will tell, David. Thanks. Wizards trail by three. Kuzma outside. There's Beal with the three. Offensive rebound. It's Beal on the wing. Left side, Porzingis. Fires the three. Good on the three. Beal, that's for two. A rebound by the Lakers. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. Chamberlain a screen. Pass to Goodrich. Rebounded by Gafford. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. 
West outside and stolen by Wright. And here's the fast break. Beal leading the way. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, it's seven foot three. Porzingis is a difficult check. He puts the defense in a bind right there. This is his first free throw of the game. And drops a dime right there. A three from Porzingis. Lakers lead by five. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alton. David. Thanks very much. Now, Christoph Porzingis famously earned the nickname the Unicorn for his combination of size and skill. Former All-Star, injuries have held him back. But now a new team presents a new opportunity. KP says, I'm... Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Pass to Robertson. And the rejection by Kaffer. Beal gets a wide open look. Offensive rebound. Here's Persingas. For the lead. And it's Gafford laying it in. Gafford's got eight points. How about the perseverance there, the extra effort on that offensive play? And it's what? I'll tell you what, Kyle Kuzma has committed to being a better defender, and he sends that shot back. McCarter can't get it to go. The Wizards with the lead. Beal from long range. Knocks down. We've got 108 left to play in the third. Here's McCarter. Pass to Goodrich. They need this. No good on that one. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. There's Peel with the three. As you can see, I really didn't want to play this game. That's why I'm shooting all these threes. Now I want to play it. From deep, and you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. It's Beal on the wing. Screen by Porzingis. Lock at six from outside the arc, and Bradley Beal. Welcome to the floor. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Wizards leading by 11. Morris into the lane. Outside Beal. Fires the three. And the Wizards. Lakers trail by 12. West, right side. Pass to Goodrich. Lakers passing it around. Chamberlain's shot is off. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Washington Wizards. Beyond the arc. And the three ball is now Beal defending. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Uncovered. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Beal's got eight here in the quarter. Come on, this guy's a gifted shooter, and Beal can space the floor with the best of them. Pass to Chamberlain. Wilt rises up. Rebounded by the Wizards. There's Beal with the three. And the Wizards lead the way for him. And if anything, it should make for an entertaining basketball game. And it becomes a little bit of a chess match when it's a backcourt duel. Those are always fun. And the dunk by Porzingis. Uh, just fundamental basketball. Chris Stapp's Porzingis. Establish yourself inside and finish with the jam. And Morris has got the ball here for Washington. There's Peel with the three. Pass to Kuzma. Porzingis with the block. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. 
That's his first foul. First team foul. And here is Morris. Outside, Porzingis. Screen by Gafford. And Porzingis hits. Right outside. From the arc. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Going to line right with great range. What a shot. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. I've heard it said, Greg, a coach can't give you confidence, but they can take it away. What's the meaning behind that? Well, players at this level are in charge. Man, if you put together a team of nothing but Canadian players, you'd have a pretty strong five out there. And Barrett's a guy who might be the leader of that squad. He's 0 for 1 to start. Pass to Randall. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. That's a forgotten skill. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. That's a forgotten skill as Porzingis able to get up there and throw that one away. He's finished top 10 in blocks a couple of times. Very few players have the firepower that Bradley Beal does as a combo guard. He's been in the league since 2013. And defenses still haven't figured this guy out. Now here's Morris. And Beal puts up a deep three. He catch a pass from that distance. He's asking a lot of his teammates to reel that one in. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. Morris for three. And they'll get another chance. Here's Gafford. Deflected. Yeah, no foul. Oh, Beal picks his pocket. We're back, Goofy. From deep. Count it. Goofy. His fourth kill. And they showed some of that in going in there and collecting some boards. Tries again. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Hit nerfed. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Randall, good. Nerd. Well, Brent, the relationship between players and refs can sometimes seem a little hostile. Does it need to be that way? Well, you and me have our little tips, don't we, Brian? So, yes, in order for us to do our best work. Bradley Beal played for Coach Greg Popovich with the U.S. national team. Pop said, quote, he's hard to keep up with. His balance and movement are very impressive. He stops on a dime, can pull up and shoot. That, along with his excellent footwork, are the most impressive things for me. Brian? Yeah, great breakdown there, Alec. Thank you. Well, top five pick back in 2015, the seven foot three Chris Gaps Porzingis ushered in a bit of a new era there. The rise of the seven footer could step out with their hands looking for any chance to force any kind of turnover. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Beal outside. Off target from three-point range. New York trailing. On the wing quickly. No good from outside. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. This is Brian Anderson. I'm here with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, our reporter, Ali LaForce. It's the Portland Trailblazers. Take it on the Washington Wizards. Pass to Beal. Count it. He's posing for the camera. He's just hanging out, posing for pictures, just making himself at home. Well, you won't see that kind of shot fall very often. Thank your lucky star. And it's out of bounds to the Trailblazers as Portland retains possession. And so here's Portland. Odin misses. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Field goes in. And another shot. And he lays it up and in. 
They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Twenty-six seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Odin. Blocked again! But boy, he does so there. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Morris can't hit. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Here's Camby. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. Well, we see a lot of emphasis on three-point shooting nowadays, but you'll take that look right there any night of the week. And then making an impact tonight. No doubt on the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. <laughs> Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Pass to Odin. Shoots over Gibson. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. And they get it back. Here's Odin. Boy, Gibson so good at timing these rejections twice. Pass to Williams. Fires the three. No good. And it's Washington the other way. Right attacking. Kuzma outside. And the Wizards making a change here. First personal foul. First team foul. On defense, the Trailblazer. Down by 12. Now Gafford. And the by Gafford. Down there, Allie. Thank you. Right, the open look. And the dunk by Gafford. Hey! He turns the offensive board into a big slam. Wow, he was so well positioned there. Credit his anticipation. Pass to Howard. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Gafford. Oh, deflected. Oh, I almost did it! And the dunk I tried, I tried to bounce past Ali. Hey. Heck. Down the board. Two minutes into the second half of play now. To the inside. Odin. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Here's none. And he comes. Down low. Here's Odin. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Oh, oh, oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the board. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Gafford the screen. And Beal puts up a deep three. Three. And the three-pointer goes. He's got 17. That is big time, deep range. Beal extending for that one. Out of bounds. It'll be Washington's ball. Washington 19 left in the third quarter. Pass to Porzingis. That one's in there. On the end with the fourth quarter upon us. Time is running out for this game to become competitive. Here's Morris. Up top, Gibson. To the left side wing. Pass to Beal. On the arc. Hit to Odin. Yeah, I know. He usually makes you pay from that range. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Three-pointer. Beal. They get the rebound. It's Beal on the wing. Damn, one, Kept man. By Washington. It's Beal on the wing. Fires the three. Follow me. Drills it from deep. <laughs>